A key strategic city in eastern Ukraine has now fallen to the Russians. Severodonetsk was one of the last major cities standing in the way of Vladimir Putin seizing full control of the eastern Donbas region. Ukraine has ordered its troops to withdraw from that city after weeks of intense and bloody street fighting. A top Ukrainian commander says there was no point, as he put it, in staying there and suffering heavy casualties. Much like the destroyed city of Mariupol, Russia, Russia relentlessly bombed and shelled Severodonetsk, a once thriving industrial town now in ruins. NBC News chief foreign correspondent Richard Engel sat down with the Ukrainian president Volodymyr Zelensky just moments after the announcement of that withdrawal. Zelensky personally thanked President Biden and the United States for all the weapons he's received, but said he needs a lot more. Zelensky also told Engel that Ukraine's intelligence service is actively working to free two American fighters captured by pro-Russian forces. Two Americans answered your call, as, as many did, to come here and fight for Ukraine's democracy. They were captured. The Kremlin won't rule out that they could face the death penalty. Is there something you would like to say directly to the families of those two Americans? Yeah, with pleasure, yes. What can I say? They're, they're heroes. And for me, they're the same like Ukrainians, but I'm sure that we'll fight for them and we'll get them back. And of course, they will come back to, to your families, to, to their children. Today marks four months since Vladimir Putin launched the invasion. President Zelensky told Richard Engel he's worried the West will lose interest in the war and that Ukraine will become increasingly isolated over time.